All right, today we're hitting my three favorite bodyweight exercises for calves. And as you can see, I'm filming this after I got done. Good news, it sucked. Let's get after it. All right, so the first one, you're gonna to need to do a deep squat and not just kind of deep, I'm talking calves to hamstrings. Now, if you can't get there because you have flexibility issues, knee problems, whatever it may be, put a foam roller behind there. If you're at the gym, if not, if you're stuck at home, roll up a towel, it really doesn't matter. You just want that tension between your calf and hamstring. If you can't, you can recreate it with a towel. You just want that pressure because you want something to flex against. And the idea is we're mimicking something like a seated hamstring curl, where when you're sitting down, you have to flex against that pad, makes the contraction that much worse. Same thing here, but now we're doing it with a hamstring, we're flexing our calf against that, and immediately you're already gonna be engaged and makes the contraction that much harder. Now the one thing you wanna watch out for is even if you're flexible enough to sit nice and tall on your heels, that you don't. You're gonna shift your weight forward, you want more pressure in your toes because you wanna put more of a stretch on those calves. And the cool thing about this exercise, other than blowing up your calves, is that if you program it correctly, you're gonna increase ankle flexibility. So, save a quad day. If you do these first, by the time you get in your squatting movements, you'll notice that you have an easier time with that dorsiflexion, get those toes to your shins, and you won't be shifting forward with your weight so much, putting in your toes, you can drive from those heels a lot easier. Also, don't be afraid to get a little creative with your feet. Turn your toes in, turn them out. It's just gonna put tension on that calf in a different spot, put more emphasis on one part of the calf. And if you're somebody that doesn't believe that's possible and you should just do it the normal way, then you're wrong. All right, so this next exercise is gonna get all the benefits of the last one, but we're gonna get more ankle flexibility, more of a stretch on that calf, because we're gonna do it unilaterally. So the way you're gonna do these is by exaggerating that knee even more. So shifting that knee over your toe, and really then you're gonna be sitting completely on that calf and hamstring. All that pressure should be there. You should feel an extreme stretch in that calf. And the nice part about these, now you can use your hands to stabilize yourself a little bit. And instead of coming straight up with that contraction, I want you to drive it forward, and that's gonna enhance that contraction even more. All right, for the last one, we're gonna throw those shoes back on because we're gonna get weird with a book. Now, in the game of life, this doesn't hold true, and any woman will tell you this is not the case, but you don't need a book. You just need a couple inches. So the way we're gonna use this book is we're gonna set up like a donkey calf raise and use all four sides of it. So the very top is gonna be the anterior tibialis, flexing that toe up. The sides are gonna be used to hit the opposite head of that gastroc, and the back's gonna be just a traditional donkey calf raise. I'd say the biggest key on this one is really putting all that pressure into that hip, driving that knee back, and really get as much of a stretch on that calf and that gastroc as possible. As always, like, subscribe with the notification bell. Again, I'm gonna leave that link, so if you wanna get notified when the course comes out, you'll be the first to know. And get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.